Well, hi, today we're at Fauquier Education Farm uh, with Jim Hankins, the executive director here. Jim, thanks for letting us come out and see some of the things you're doing today. Today we're going to be talking about fall planting of cabbage and broccoli. Now, this is something I think some people like to grow, especially in the fall. Is that a good time to grow? these? Oh, it's an excellent time for, you know, the cool season crops. You have to remember you don't, only, you're not limited to just planting them in the springtime. You can plant them just as well in the fall okay. if you baby them enough to get them established. Right, because it's some hot weather right now. It's hot weather right now. You know, a big mistake an awful lot of folks make is that they think that they're going to be doing a fall planting. Well, I don't have to plant it until the fall. Here it is, you know, early September. It's too late to start from seed. You're going to need to go to a good garden center. Okay. Fortunately, they have an awful lot of plants that are widely available. You know, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, all of that brassica family are good candidates for those fall planting and just baby them through those last hot days of the summer. Get them lots of water when you first plant them, I'm, I'm yeah. guessing. When you first get this tray, you've got to soak it, soak it, soak it. And when you put them into the ground, you have to soak that ground and soak it. You've got a commercial planting here behind us and you're growing on plastic mulch to keep weeds down and things like that. What could a home gardener do? Would they put mulch down? A oh, a, a hay mulch, hay or straw mulch is an excellent thing. And, you know, you just leave that hay and straw right on the ground. It will decompose over the winter. You're improving the soil. Okay. You know, I really like the black um, landscape fabric, the woven landscape fabric, anything to try to control your weeds. Um, okay. But these guys are pretty easy if you can get them established. Don't worry about the fact that these will not be mature before the last, before the first frost. Okay. You know, they'll be frost in October that will actually make these sweeter. Jim, these are some nice transplants here, cabbage and broccoli. Is it, what, how old are these? Um, these cabbages are about six weeks. This, okay. is the, this is the size you really want, which means that they were started in mid to late July. Okay. These old broccolis are about five weeks. They're still fine. You know, they will not mature until after the frost, but that's an important thing about these cool season crops. These guys can do perfectly fine with those first few frosts in October. Now, I know with transplants, I can see here uh, there are a couple cabbage loopers, right? Yep. Cabbage loopers are going to be your primary pest for these guys. And, you know, in the springtime, the cabbage loopers come out at the end of production. So it will be a little bit of damage on the leaves. In the fall, one cabbage looper can just devastate this plant while it's still really small. They're really easy to control, but some insecticide, there are perfectly good organic insecticides okay, to great. use that are really effective, but you have to do something. You can see this tray of broccoli the broccoli is a lot more attractive to them than the cabbage. Right, right. and but, it can get away from you quick. Oh yeah, it, you know, those caterpillars eat 24 hours a day and they can grow from a quarter of an inch long to an inch and a quarter in just a couple days and the next thing you know, you've got a plant that's just a stem. Well, great tips. Thanks again for letting us come out here today and visit the farm, it's in such good shape. And for more information about cabbage or broccoli production in the fall, please contact your local county extension office and talk to a master gardener. For From the Ground Up, I'm Chris Mullins, and we'll see you next time. From the Ground Up is presented with the generous advice and assistance of Virginia Cooperative Extension. Visit their website at ext.vt.edu.